Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys my everyday go-to basic no makeup makeup look and this is it. <laughs> that was so cheesy. So today I'm going to show you guys how I do this Coachella festival makeup look. I was so excited to do this. I've actually never done a festival makeup tutorial so I really just wanted to sit down and just have fun with it and I really did. I really enjoyed doing this and I wish I was going to Coachella because I really want to rock this makeup somewhere. And these space buns. Let me tell you, it took me an hour to get these buns down and I still don't know what's going on in the back. Thank God I'm just facing you from the front. And obviously it's not going to be wearable for everyone, especially if you're not going to Coachella or any type of festival, but still watch the video because you could totally take away a lot from here. I love the eyes. You could totally wear these just for a regular day. It's such a pretty spring makeup look. My highlight and yeah, <laughs> I think that should be it. <laughs> so if you guys want to stick around to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going into the Tarte Cosmetics Tarte Lane Bloom Palette and I'm picking up Jet Setter. I'm going to start by running this shadow through my crease. I'm using my Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush and this is literally the only thing that's going in my crease. I just want a little bit of dimension up here and just keep going back and forth in windshield wipe motions and then circular motions to further blend out that shadow. Now I'm going into Charmer with my E32 Exact Blend Brush by Sigma. I'm just going to pack this shadow onto my lid. I just want just a light wash of a bright white. And then at the same time, just highlight my brow bone with that same brush. For my liner, I'm going into Tarte Tardis Clay Paint Liner in black. With my Sigma EO6 Wing Liner Brush, I'm going to create a wing liner. And as I've mentioned before, wing liner is so difficult for me to do on camera, but I'm going to try. So I'm first lining my upper lash line. Okay, so it's looking kind of crazy now, but to create the wing, what I do is I take my brush and I place it right in between where my upper lash line and lower lash line meet. So I open my eye and like slide it in between my lashes, place that brush in there, and then drag up and then release. And then all you do is just connect that back to that line, fill it in. Now what I'm going to do is just take that same liner and that same brush and just line my upper waterline because I want it to set before I do my lower lash line. I'm going into the Makeup Forever Flash Color Palette and I'm going to pick up the turquoise. Now this is the part that I'm so excited about is my lower lash line. So I'm going to first take my E20 Short Shader Brush by Sigma and I picked up the turquoise shade from this Makeup Forever Palette. And what I'm going to first do is basically just kind of like start stamping it on my lower lash line because these are so pigmented. Do you see how beautiful that is? So you basically just stamp that on first and then I kind of like squint my eye and start blending that down. And this is going to be our base for this lower lash line. I'm going into the Makeup Geek Cosmetics eyeshadow in Shark Bait. Now I'm switching over to my Sigma E15 flat definer brush and I'm starting to wiggle the shadow into the very base of my lashes. That's just going to darken it up and really just create a nice gradient effect. And then just smoke that and blend that out. Don't go too far down because I am going to apply a lighter shadow on the bottom. I'm now picking up Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Sure Thing. Going back into that E20, I just wiped it off and now I'm going to apply this at that bottom part of this lower lash shine just to add a really nice light turquoise and then blend that out. Now I'm going into NYX Cosmetics Prismatic Eyeshadow in Mermaid. Now I couldn't go ahead and create this look without using the shadow. This is my absolute favorite shadow. I'm obsessed with it. I've used it in so many looks and I want to bring it back. So I'm going to pick that up on my E20 short shader brush again and I'm going to start tapping that on and just keep brushing that back and forth. It is so beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. And then I'm picking that up on my pinky and just applying that right, oh god yes, applying that right on that inner corner. Going back into that turquoise from that Makeup Forever Flash palette and using my E17 Waterline Liner Brush, I'm just going to start applying this liner in my waterline. Now picking up that Shark Bait Shadow, I'm just going to start tapping that right on top. That's just going to really make this the perfect shade to match my lower lash line. But what you do have to make sure is that you tap off your brush because it is a shadow and you don't want to have a lot of like shadow in your eye. 
but if you tap it off this should work fine and it's gonna set the liner and it's not gonna move all day okay so that is the eye look done obviously you could totally leave it like this and this would be a beautiful spring makeup look I'm obsessed with it but now I'm gonna apply some mascara and falsies as my eye tears and it's just never-ending <laughs> so I'm gonna go in today with these Tarte Cosmetics Tardis Pro Lashes in center of attention and I'll be right back to show you the finished look of the eyes. And that's the eye look done. Okay, so now moving on to my lips. I'm going to keep them nude just because I'm obsessed with this nude at the moment. And also, I am going to add like a nice little addition. So hopefully, the nude is going to make it show up a little more. You'll see what I mean in a little bit. So I'm going to first go in and fill in my lips and put on lipstick. And I'm going to be using the new Makeup Geek Cream Stain. Look at that packaging. Not so sleek and sexy. <laughs> and I'm going to be using the cream stain in do, -Si do Such a cute name. And now what I'm going to do is actually line my cupid's bow with a little bit of gold and apply a faux ring, kind of. So I'm going to make the appearance of a ring on my bottom lip with a liner so i'm gonna go into this tarte eye jewels glitter liner in white gold and i like that it's not like super yellow it's gonna be like the perfect white gold <laughs> I'm kind of living for the lips as well right now. I'm loving this look. <laughs> okay, so now moving on to my highlight. What I'm going to do first is go into this Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter. And I'm going to pick up this shade first. And I'm going to apply that on the high points of my cheeks using my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter F03 brush. And now to go over top of my highlight to make it more like festive and <laughs> sparkly and just different. I'm going to go into this SD Edit Fluid Metal Eyeshadow in, eyeshadow in Got It Bad. I feel like I use this in like every tutorial because I'm obsessed with them so much. So what I'm going to do is just pick this up on my finger. And then I'm going to lightly tap that over my highlight. Now what I'm going to do is actually just put a little star right here. So I have these little like nail art studs. So I'm going to put a little bit of lash glue right where I want it. Then with a pair of tweezers, just pick up the star and apply it where you want. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into that flash palette by Make Forever and I'm just going to pick up a brush, any brush that has a rounded bottom or something that's flat and pretty big. <laughs> and I'm just going to dip it into first the white. Oh, got stuck in there. And that's what it's going to look like. And then we're just going to create little dots. Now we're going to alternate between white and the turquoise, so I'm now just going to pick up the turquoise. There we go. I'm going to place that near it, but leave some space in between. Okay, so rewind. Make believe I didn't put in those gold dots. I'm actually going to take the studs that I used or underneath my eye. I'm going to take gold little circle ones and put those in between the dots. <laughs> so once again, first just put a little bit of lash glue on the bottom and then using some tweezers, place the little gold stud. And that is it. This is the completed look of my Coachella slash festival makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun doing this. I love doing makeup looks sometimes that are just so not traditional. But I'm living for this lip. I don't know why. It's just doing things to me. And this eye. Guys. Guys. And these buttons. Like, I feel so free. Like, I can move my head all around. But I don't even know what's going on in the back. I, like, when I feel it, like, I feel it's a hot mess. And it took me an hour to do this when it looks like it should have been, like, up and ready to go, right? I don't know. Some people do it in, like, two seconds and it looks good. I need to master this because I really like this hairstyle. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, you can check that out right here as well as that description box. They will be linked down below. And a list of all the products and brushes that I use will be linked down in the description box, as always. And that should be it.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I had such a fun time doing this look, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye, guys.